Hey, what is going on guys? This is Coded Steel and welcome back to yet another App Inventor tutorial. This one specifically is going to be on uh, asset files. So I didn't really cover asset files um, specifically before, but what that means is it's basically anything that gets imported over here in your media section. So media actually is a little bit misleading. Um, it makes you think Maybe I can only upload image files, sound files, or video files. Well, that's not actually the case. I can also upload like text files or PDFs or whatever. It packages anything with the application. So it's really just, I should honestly probably be labeled asset files more so than, um, you know, media files. But specifically, the reason we're covering this in this video is I got a specific request for somebody basically stating something to the effect of I'm trying to import a text file with my application. I want it to be packaged with my application. He basically wants it to be add-on content. So um, it's not something I have to download. It's something that's already on the application, but it's not necessarily accessible by default right away. You know, it's something that's kind of hidden. So how would I do, or how, how would I make it to where I could read from this file, but not have to necessarily um, download it from the internet or something like that. Packaged it with the application, but I can just read stuff from it. So how you're gonna do that um, specifically is there under the storage um, drop down over here, we have something called file. Now we haven't much discussed the file component, but essentially what it is, is it is a component that lets you access any files really on the device, any file that you need to be able to access. So be warned. Um, and now hold on, I will, I will uh, sp specify a little bit further on this in a minute, but be warned that um, when you're able to do this, you can overwrite files on your device that aren't protected. So what I mean by not protected are specifically there are files on your device, um, and specifically asset files, are protected from being overwritten, wrote over, anything like that. They can't have anything, they cannot be manipulated. Um, so an asset file, all I can do is read it. I can't write to it, I can't delete it, I can't append to it, I can't do any of that. So the only block that will work effectively on a asset block, asset file block is reading from the file. That's it, nothing else. So just be warned that um, this, this file was this video was created basically specifically for um, the reading from the asset file directory. It's not going to cover any of this other stuff. Just this stuff. Just reading from a file. Your as one of your asset files because um, it's not very um, um, it's not very obvious how to do that. So that's what I kind of wanted to touch on a little bit. So over here we have this uh, media file upload thing. So I've already created a text file ahead of time and I filled it with some junk here. Ice cream, color, foobar, blah. Just, just you know, four words just to populate the file with something so it had some content to it. And I saved it and I saved it to foobar.txt. So in here, under my media section, I can click the upload file, choose a file, and then click on this foobar.txt and say okay and now foobar appears. So just exactly like we did in uh, some of our past tutorials, I think like the game creation tutorial where we uploaded images. This time though, we're not uploading an image, we're uploading text. So, and the other thing we gotta do is, so we can display the text from the file is dragging a label component. So now that we have the label component, we have our file component and we have our file all uploaded um, onto the, uh, into the application that to be packaged with the application, we're ready to read from that file. So how we read from that file is simple simple enough, really, all it is, is uh, I'm gonna use this screen1.initialize and I'm gonna do file read, call file read from file name. So this is where things get a little bit tricky because it's not exactly obvious um, what needs to be, how, how to do this here, but we would, you would think that all I would maybe have to do is just say foobar.txt. You would think that that would be all I would need to do, but that's not actually the case. Um, what I need to do is I need to tell the application that I want it to look for this file in 
the asset file directory. Well, how do I tell it to do that? Well, I tell it to do that with two forward slashes. These two forward slashes in front of the word foobar.txt basically say, look at where the application is installed on the device, the asset files for the application, all the things that make the application do what it needs to do. Look in that folder and look for this file. And if you find that file, great, then we're gonna do something. Um, specifying it without those two slashes means that it is going to look on the actual phone's uh, memory itself, the actual phone's uh, store, hardware, st hard, uh, hard drive storage for foobar.txt, which it won't find because I don't have a file called foobar.txt on my phone. So it won't find it. Um, so specifically, this person's request, as I was saying before, it was basically add-on content um, for a... He wanted this add-on content to not be able to be download, not have to be downloaded from the internet, not anything like that. So if you guys specifically, I don't know, wanted to create a game app or something, and you wanted to have the add-on content already on the application, it's just not accessible to the user until they buy it or whatever, or however they're going to do it, however they're going to get to it. Then you need to turn around and you need to force that to happen so they can't actually get to that stuff um unless they do something to make it happen so you have the uh foobar.txt file on here um we, it's hidden um the only way you can access it is if you make maybe some button get pushed or something you make it somewhere or i don't know whatever but um the point is you need these forward slashes and the foobar.txt to access the file once the file's found we need to call this file onecottext and we need to turn around and we need to set our label one.txt to the contents that we get back, which is just this get text. So if this works right, I should see this stuff appear where the label is as soon as the screen gets loaded. Well, we'll see if that happens. All right, back here, let's package up this application here. And then once it's done, we'll download it onto our device and we should be good to go. Um, again, this is this, this was not meant to be something very complicated, and this was not meant to give you a full tutorial on um, this stuff. I just re really have been priding myself lately in doing viewer requests because you guys are the guys that are watching these videos. I want to know what it is you guys want to see, so that's pretty much why I do what I do and ask for suggestions. And I got one from somebody, so that's why we're doing this video. So it's installing this on my phone here and we say open and voila we can see that the stuff that I wrote here is indeed appearing on my phone here so works perfectly works the way I said it would work um, which is all good stuff um, one last warning like I said before none of these other blocks will work you can't append to that file you can't delete it you can't read or you can read from it, but you can't save anything, you can't save over it, can't save to it, can't anything. This is the application's private stash as it gets packaged. The only time you can add something to that directory is when you do this. You go here and you upload it here. It gets packaged with the application in the applications folder where nothing else can access it but the application. So... Um, anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Um, it was a quick one. It's all I really wanted to show you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, keep up with all the comments, suggestions for applications. Um, it's really a big help. Thanks. Uh, we have finally have over 3K subscribers. I really appreciate all your guys' um, input and uh, support for this channel to keep it going. As I've mentioned before, really education channels are really kind of difficult to grow, but we're growing ours at a pretty uh, rapid pace here. So please like, comment, subscribe, add other suggestions to, uh, for future applications, and I'll see you guys in the next video.